These are all the ingredients for everything that I will be making, so don't become overwhelmed by all of this. This is for all of the ingredients, and I will list the recipe and the ingredients below in the caption, so definitely check that out as well. But let's get cooking. All right, we're gonna get started with our quiche, so we need a dozen eggs. We're gonna add chilies. Next, we are going to add 16 ounces of cottage cheese. Then we are going to add a third of the bag of this dairy-free cheese. chopped onion. So I've already browned the meat that I am going to be using. So this is two pounds of ground venison. So it's browned and then I added maple seasoning to it. Just add that. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be making these into mini egg tins, little mini egg cups. Now this mixture will create a lot more than just the 12 that you see. So I will put, be putting the remainder in a, thir or a, what is this? An eight by eight. So the remainder will go in the eight by eight. Primarily this will be what I'm using. So we've got our mixture in our muffin tins and then the remainder in the eight by eight. And it'll cook for 45 minutes. Our cups are done. How amazing do these look? Mm, girl. All right, next I'm gonna show you guys how to make overnight proats or simply protein oats. For demonstration purposes, I just wanna show you guys that you can make a bunch of these at once. I'm only gonna be making one, as obviously I'm gonna have a ton of breakfast foods. So, like I said, you can make this like four or five at a time, it's very simple. So for this recipe, I'm gonna show you guys what I would actually eat if you're a guy or if you're carving up, you might eat more than half a cup of oats. It's just, I would eat half a cup in the morning, so I'm gonna show you guys that. Now, if I was to make this for Josh, I would use an entire cup of oats. So use whatever, portions you need for your own specific macros. So this is very simple again. So you just do half a cup of oats, and then you pick a fun sugar-free pudding mix flavor. You could do pistachio, chocolate, vanilla, I like the butterscotch, whatever you want to use. You can see I've done this quite a bit. Then you're gonna do two tablespoons of the powder, just the mix. You're not gonna mix it or anything. You're just gonna simply do the powder. We're gonna add one scoop of protein. I use our vanilla. You can get this on bomarfitness.com. Just add that right there. And then you're gonna add enough milk. We were dairy free in this house. Enough milk to just kind of make a nice paste almost. And then you're gonna eat this. I like to eat mine cold in the morning kind of whatever your preference is. Um, I like cold oats, so we're gonna stir this up and then throw it in the fridge overnight. And I'm gonna obviously put a lid on it. This will be the consistency. I know it looks kind of weird, but it actually tastes really, really, really good. It tastes like a soft, cold, no-bake cookie. So definitely try this one. Very simple, very easy. Throw it in the fridge until the So next we're gonna work on our frozen banana smoothies, or shakes, whatever you wanna call it. So for me, if this was me, I would be doing half a banana. So unfortunately this one broke, so my demonstration sucks. But, so I'm gonna do half a banana. 
and then I will put it in the freezer. And then in the morning, I'll grab a frozen banana, put it in a blender, and add protein powder and some unsweetened cocoa. And then I would also add some of this powdered peanut butter. So I'm gonna freeze these bananas just for demonstration purposes and then show you guys how easy it is in the morning. I wouldn't recommend putting the powder in this container. Um, it might get kind of funky, so just make a container of frozen bananas. And then in the morning, if you need a whole banana, grab two frozen bananas. If you just need one, like I would need, just grab your one, put your scoop of protein powder in, and then put your tablespoon of cocoa powder, and then two tablespoons of this um, peanut butter powder really save on calories there, and you'll have a delicious shake. Get even easier in the morning for your frozen banana smoothies. You can get plastic baggies, you can just keep using isolator containers, whatever you want to use, and just pre-make all your powders. So like I said, two tablespoons of this. Pre-make all your powder, and then all you have to do is just grab your banana and then grab your baggie and dump it in your blender. You don't have to get all your stuff out. If you can, you guys, the more time you can save in the morning, I know, the better. So that was just a tablespoon of this. So if you can just grab your, put your baggie, put all your powders in your baggie, grab your banana, throw it in a blender, and off you go. Just throw this in there too. Your world will change forever. So again, just a tablespoon, or a scoop of the protein. You can obviously use chocolate protein. You make whatever flavor you want of this. What, Muffin? I just want to show you guys how easy the frozen bananas thing is. I'm making this for Josh, so I'm just going to use all of them. And a tip, put your bananas in first and then do your powder. So we want our baggie from earlier. So this is all you would have to do in the morning. That, that, we're going to add a little milk. So next we are going to be making 12 protein mini muffins. So I've already got two scoops of our vanilla protein in here. I'm just using the vanilla protein container to actually sh set the camera up. So that's why I already pre-dumped it in there. So next we will, we're going to throw this in the microwave just to kind of break up that coconut oil. Do that. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to then use one and a half tablespoons of coconut flour. All right, one and a half. And again, this is a really easy recipe, so if you wanna double, quadruple, whatever you wanna to do to make enough protein mini muffins for the week, it's a great idea. And then we are going to do one tablespoon of coconut oil. And we're gonna do a dash of Butter extract, you can do vanilla if you want. A little bit of that. Then we are going to add a dash of baking powder. I don't ever measure my baking powder, I probably should, but I don't. Add one egg white. Depending on the coconut flour you use, you might need to add a little milk. It is a little on the drier side. So you get your 
pin. These will rise a lot, so you don't want to fill them. I'm going to fill about half them. And if you want to flavor these, you could use the powdered peanut butter. You could flavor them with the coconut powder or the cocoa powder. Whatever you want to do. I might add peanut butter to these when I eat them. That was the first time I used that coconut flour, and it definitely absorbed a little more than the last one. So instead of 12, we have nine. What are mini muffins without a bunch of sprinkles? Am I right or am I right? Now they're mini muffins. Now we're gonna bake them for seven minutes, 350. All right, so the muffins are done. Last up, we are gonna make lemon bars. A lot of people, mm, lemon bars, you can make whatever you want for breakfast. You're an adult, so eat what you want. A quarter cup coconut oil. And then we're going to add one cup almond flour. And then half a cup of vanilla protein powder little bit of almond extract. You can use vanilla if you don't have almond. Some Himalayan pink salt. You can use sea salt, whatever you have. All right, then we're gonna whisk this. Spray the top of oil as well. We're gonna bake at 350 for 10 minutes. All right, so while that is baking, we are gonna make our lemon toppings. So you're gonna start with three quarters cup lemon juice. We're gonna add in three eggs. going to add five of these natural sweeteners. You can use whatever you like. And then we're gonna add the zest of one lemon. another 15 to 20 minutes. Lemon bars are done as well, so as soon as these cool, I will cut them up. 